Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the modifier stack in the context of rigging. So for rigging in Blender, what you want to do is you want to add a armature deform modifier, which automatically gets added when you parent an object with the armature deform option. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what that means, because what that armature deform modifier does actually depends on where it is in your modifier stack. So I'm going to go ahead and create a simple character here real quick just to demonstrate this so we know exactly what modifiers we're using. And with this cube here, I'm going to simply just cut it in half real quick. I'm just going to cut that in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mirror modifier. And I'm going to add a subsurf modifier. I'm also going to make sure that this clipping is enabled just to make sure I can stretch it out and stuff like that. So that's pretty much all we need to know for now. We just have a simple mirror and subsurf modifier. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up this way. Let's bring it in a little bit. Scale it up. Scale this down like that. Add a few edge loops here. And we have basically a long sort of arm tentacle pole thing. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and create an armature. And just extend it. Extend this down. Subsurf it a few times or sorry, subdivide it a few times. And then we have a pretty simple armature and we should be able to just simply parent this with the armature deform option with automatic weights like we did before. And that should give us the ability to sort of move this thing around. And with that, we have uh, basically everything that we need to know. Now, if I went ahead and did this, just pay attention to the modifier stack. Right now, the modifier stack is at the very bottom. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you just want, for example, the subsurf to happen after the armature modifier is applied. So if you just actually bring that down, you'll notice how it looks a little bit smoother because it sort of smooths out the joints there. And you can do that. But if you want to have a, you know, more vertices to be bending, then you want to do that. And you can always add a subsurf modifier afterwards as well. Um, another thing is if you move the mirror modifier below the armature modifier, so the armature modifier is before it, Let's go ahead and move that up. You'll notice that it works completely differently. So we have the mirror modifier mirroring the already deformed mesh. And therefore, you get this sort of weird pattern where half of it is on one side because it's deformed that way. And the other half is on the other side because it's mirroring the deformation from the armature. So you want to make sure that your um, obviously, this is not what you want unless it is. But you're going to want to make sure your armature modifier is in the right spot. So this is usually a good place, you know, in between the mirror and the subsurf, or as long as it's after every single one of the modifiers that make a big difference in how it deforms, you're going to want to make sure that's above the armature. So just something to keep in mind. I hope you guys learned something. And that's just an overview for how the modifier stack interacts with the armature deform modifier.